downloads to the base station, but in a wireless sensor network, that is only uplink. Uh, only the sensors will talk to the base station, but the base station will not talk back to the sensor. And for a cellular network, it is easy to recharge. Uh, just like we always recharge our cell, our cell phones every day. But in a wireless sensor network, it is difficult to recharge. As we put the sensor to the sensor area uh, to collect the data, we want to maybe we want to collect the data for a whole day or a few months, even a year. So uh, we may not always take back the sensor and then recharge it. Uh, we want to put it as long as we can. And hence, the wireless sensor network will focus on the energy saving. But in the cellular network, we want to uh, we want to focus on the quality. Uh, just like we talk in the cell phone, we want to we do not want to hear any noises and want quality. And from the wireless sensor network, we have the at home network. Uh, what is the at home network? Which means that the sensors will communicate with other sensors, and then send to the base station. But why sensors need to communicate with other sensors? Um, just to imagine that if there is a sensor that is uh, very far away from the base station, then how can the sensors communicate to, to the base station uh, if the sensors want to com communicate with the base station? It need to it needs many powers to communicate. But if it choose the, to communicate to the uh, nearest sensor, then it can use less power. And then the nearest sensor will communicate with other sensors that is near to it. And then communicate to the base station. And this technology can help the wireless sensor network to reduce the power needed from the sensor to communicate with the base station. And for the cellular network, obviously, uh, one cell phone will not communicate with other cell phones. And if even the cell phone is far away from the base station, it will not communicate with other cell phones. And, and for other differences, obviously, the cellular, cellular wireless sensor network will use sensors to connect the data, while the cellular network will use the cell phone to connect the data. And now I do like to talk about the application. Right. So here then, technical part will move on to something more interesting, that is the application of the wireless sensor network. So uh, one example is smart light. Well, in the traditional way, maybe just like what we do in our home, we just come in and switch on and off the lights on manually. And you need to adjust the brightness yourself. However, with the wireless sensor network, they are very first with smart lighting. We can have sensor notes that send motion to other people. And thus, they send the message to the computer and turn on or off the lights of the network. They can also send the brightness of the room of the daylight and thus adjust it according to the reference level they take. Well, another more interesting example that we can find in two is the Firefly team. As you may have seen in those sort of TV dramas or whatsoever movies, in those fire sequences, they've got those big watch talkies in which they rely on to communicate. And they're very um, easy to, vulnerable to uh, this sort of reception error. And it's often to find them uh, to communicate for some sort of time delay. However, using the wireless sensor network, if we have wireless sensor network in the room, whenever that fire occurs, the radio temperature will trigger it and we can know instantly which area is on fire. And secondly, using this wire sensor network and for fire, they can locate the fire's location directly and help them find the data directly in the network. Because the technology defines the helmet of the fireman can actually display some data, some exception. That is, for example, oxygen contact, even the heart rate. And thus, using this system, it will be more efficient and more safe for fire. Rescue any kind of fire. And at last, there will be no delay because using one sensor system, we have the six speed kind of communication instead of using walking talking, in which we use microwave as medium to communicate. And thus, using this one sensor network, you know that a light quality will improve the biological system. And I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and know more about this one sensor network. Thank you.
says that there is only uplink communication, but then how come the communication is two ways? Uh, in the cellular network, uh, the cell phone will connect to the base station, and then uh, if you talk to someone, and the base station will also connect it with the cell phone. But in the sen in the wireless sensor network, uh, the base station is only to collect the data from the sensor, and so it is only the uplink one. But the uh, base station will will not uh, will not also talk back to the sensor. It just need to collect the data, so it is one way. But in the cell phone, we need to communicate from the cell phone to the base station. Uh, 